hello, what's happening in town? So many things, right? From <laughs> so Stone Boy to Vacom. I was excited to, to see him. Movie actually. premieres. Yeah, I mean, and already the, the Stone Boy um, graduation. So, of course, he, had his, he graduated from the Ghana Institute of um, Management, Management and Public and Administration, yeah. um, GEMPA, as we normally call it. Um, um, Bachelor of Science in Public Administration. I think mm -hmm. that was what he graduated mm -hmm. from. And already the, the conversation is out there. Do you remember the, I don't know if you've heard the backstory to mm. that. Mm. So um, he said during COVID, mm. he wasn't really doing much, mm. no touring. Mm. He was stagnant. And his wife brought him, she'd already bought the forms, admission mm. forms, mm. you know, filled it out and mm. submitted it and told him that, oh, so you're going to school on this particular <laughs> day. You've been accepted. So, don't yeah. Need, don't be on your partners like that. I tell like you. partners who push you, you go to get stuff done. Pray for a, a partner woman, like that. Absolutely. Yeah, who push you incredible to stuff. more. So that's incredible. <laughs> and, you know, he followed through. He saw it through, mm. he saw it to the end, mm. despite his busy schedule. Mm. Stone boy. So there you have him <laughs> on your screen. Yeah. Boom Nation president. And, and it's funny because it's brought to the fore again, like conversations about how already established people, right? I don't think Stone boy needs the certificate to make money or anything, mm. right? It's but of course, personal added. development is yeah. always necessary. Mm. It gives you different perspective to whatever your craft <laughs> or business shall do. And of course, he's definitely always going to steal the show. So there you have him, professors happy to take pictures with yeah. him, of course, because he's the I'm reigning sure. artist of the year. I, I tell you. A superstar by all standards yeah. when I'm music sure, is mentioned. Um, children and people <laughs> there you who have him your show. And, you know, it's, it's, emulate him it's and love him. This is because going to, you know, uh, ginger them up to take their education seriously, push themselves as far as they possibly can. This is nice. See this how they really are nice. eager to give him. Okay, that's the Adentan parliamentary candidate. Yeah, this is really um, nice. Um, um, cozy. Yeah. In the, okay, Stoneboy's wife. Also, and his kids were also Yeah, also, there. You, know, you know how the thing is like, yeah, also enjoying the moment because it's, it's also a part of her. It's interesting. The it's, nation. <laughs> And I'm sure the Shatawale fans are hating us right now, but I mean, yeah, we need to has been responded. It. Is he fanning himself? Shatawale has been responding to this particular... Oh, has he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I saw a tweet from him saying that he was going to buy the school himself. Oh, we don't, that, we don't that, want that is, to that is, that is just typical go Shatawale. To <laughs> go, go to school. We don't want you to buy anything. Go to school. <laughs> Is We're celebrating someone. All he had to do was come out and say congratulations. I think you you do behind the scenes. There are friends beyond the kind I'm of I'm sure they're friends. Banter. They just, you know, the come out and do their are. banter so that they, they, they yeah. can trend small. But this is lovely. It's interesting. And congratulations to Stone Boy. Mm. Congratulations to the wife especially for pushing him. What? She, what? what? The, the, she, was she the but one, she bought the forms. Was she the one writing the exams? She no, bought no, the no, forms. Don't get me started. Don't, I'm sure she helped him at don't, some... Don't no, let me... We don't no, know that for Jude, a fact. We Jude, don't know that for a Jude, fact. She, the, the fact that has, she bought the forms means but that I, but I, she no. knows that her husband is capable. But I admitted that. Uh, so but I'm saying that when she was writing the eyes and the exams, was she there? She wasn't. No, but so she supported let, him. Let us... She's a, she's a doctor, right? She's yeah, a, she's also a doctor. She's a, yeah, so she's let a the, she, I'm sure she wrote so many exams, did so well for herself and to, I'm sure to get to that. And I'm sure he supported her as well. So we are saying that it's Stone Boy's time. Let's let's Stone Boy yeah, enjoy the glory. Don't try, don't try. The no, wife no, as well for don't buying try. the forms <laughs> not, and pushing him. Not, Otherwise, you know, during the COVID, he probably would have just stayed home and really not I, done not much. Sure just made but, some new music. I, 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 so I, I, congratulations I, to her as well. Oh, 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 congratulations I, 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 to the I, I, wife as yeah, well. Of course, like the yeah, the the the, the good book says the two become one. But yes. my point is that when he was writing the exam, she wasn't there. So let's let's no more enjoy the moment. Later we we'll, we'll find a way to also tell her thank you. Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting. To wifey as well. When, <laughs> Mrs. Stoneboy. When celebrities go through the process, it raises so many questions. Right. So you get people putting all kinds of spins to it. So people are happy for him. People are like well deserved, which I think it is. You have also people say, come on, all kinds of conspiracies and all sorts of. I mean, post on social media. So I saw this one question whether or not he actually attended lectures. And it's always funny when celebrities or well-known people graduate from school, right? So not too long ago, when the foreign affairs minister was called to the bar, 
the questions were right on social media <laughs> again. What time did they use? What to go time to was she going to lectures? Right. Recently, we've seen Guru of La Paz Toyota fame mm. also yeah, in Legon. He's graduated. He's still in school, and like he's running for SRC president. And but the I question like is, the fact that a number of these people who are mm. um, out there in the public space are you know graduates and taking their education seriously. Um, it's just, you know, going to, you know, people who look up to them, mm. children who want to be like them will be pushed to further pursue their education hey, further. I mean, personal you know. development is everything. So, yeah. yeah. All right. So um, there was a, or there's a movie, mm -hmm. The Chase. And, um, you know, it's going to be premiered in Kumasi mm. as well as Sunyai. Do you like movies? Yeah, I would watch it, right? I would rather watch a documentary. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, I would watch a movie too. And if Clementino Suarez is on, <laughs> I'm definitely going to see it. Yeah. I think I've, the funniest ever skit I've seen on social media was by Clementino Suarez. And like, I'm, I'm going to give him that. So, yeah, if it's on, I'm definitely going to see. You remember during the COVID period when like there was gloom and doom? And everybody yeah, not to. Clement made us laugh. He he like he he, he has no idea <laughs> the the sort of relief he brought to people. He brought to people during those periods. And My mom loves Clement. You remember the 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 ABC of COVID nineteen? Yes. So he starts like A, then he says something about COVID. Yeah. Then you go B, then you go, then he gets to G. It's like by by, by June, June yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Like, and I've got an opportunity to work with these people. So the mm. guy who, um, the director, mm. uh, sorry, the producer, Earth Dreams Entertainment, he was able to understudy um, Luis Lamiz, one of the, uh, you know, Laser Legacy Productions. He's an oh, okay. amazing director mm. and producer. And I've been able to work with him. You know, I've... I've, I've, I've Doubled a little in, you know, some... Yeah, it's no, called I'll, a play. I'll give you it's that. It's on YouTube, I'll, I'll but we're give, not talking about the play. We're that. talking about the chase. So, yeah, so he <laughs> understudied <laughs> Louis Lamy in Kumasi, and he brought out this movie, The Chase, and it's premiering on the 27th and 28th of July in Kumasi, and, you know, has amazing people, Clemente Suarez, Rebecca Suaro, um, Ato Dazi, right there. All my people. So, yeah. If you are in it, Kumasi, you can go and catch that. I think it's also being premiered in Sunyang um, at the... Let me see if I can find that flyer. It's mm. also being premiered in Sunyang at the STU Auditorium. So, in Kumasi, it's at the Golden Eagle Cinema. And in um, Sunyang, it's at the STU Auditorium. And... So it's a, let me tell you a bit about the story. It's about, you know, a lady who likes money and they meet, she and her friend meet a rich guy and <laughs> he's interested in the other friend. And so she's, she, you know, she's trying to sell her friend that, Charlie, go get the money, let's come chop. So yeah, if you have time, go and watch that. Uh, it's, 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 for me, Clemento on it alone is enough incentive to go see what's happening because... Yeah, I hope they premiere here so we can get a chance to, you know, go and watch it. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think that it's, it will be great. I, I hope that a crowd premiere is done sooner than later because already I can see the excitement is building. People are happy about it. I saw a post of it on social media and everybody was happy that we were finally coming together with some really quality local production here. Hopefully, they are able to scale it up. They are able to get more investors on board. They are able to maximize... Um, film production, use all available resources we have here. And I'm sure uh, people can be talking about us on, 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 on um, that famous place in New York where all the screens are crowded. What's it called? The, Times the, Square. The Times Square have all of those <laughs> ads there, build enough excitement and take Ghana movie to the next level. I mean, I can't wait for that, that, that moment really in time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, so the 2024 Black Star Marathon event is happening today at the Black Star Square. Mm. Um, do you know a bit of about that? So, you know, what I, when I saw this, it took my mind back to the Good Day Energy Drink Cross Country event mm -hmm. in November 2021, I think, by CTFM, City TV. See, it was incredible. And you know the funny thing people don't really remember from that event you had? The winner of the Good Day Energy 
drink cross country city tv at the time channel one organized william and Ponsa, would go on to go and win silver for ghana at the africa games whoop, whoop. unbelievable stuff so Exciting. these competitions have a way of unearthing talents and bringing people out of their shell right mm -hmm. to take on the world and i think it's a great initiative 42 can you run that long 42, 42 kilometers point, that's 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 quite a, that's quite a distance 10 kilometers no, no. and i understand that walk, no. there's also a different race for um, persons with disability oh, that's, that's so impressive. those who are confined in a wheelchair will also have their own race and they, they have really exciting prizes for all of them and they, they <laughs> you know what they did this time around what did they do they, tell me oldest person to cross the finish line and the youngest person to cross the finish line stand the chance of winning something amazing. Oh. So if you are 50 years and you are fit, I'll take advantage of this because you could win some But what cool are money. we winning? I mean, huge sums of money. <laughs> they, are, they, they have this whole, they have this whole prize list. So there's money, there are souvenirs, there are so many things. I mean, look at the and sponsors yeah, you have on board. Amazing right? sponsors on board so, as well. So it's, there are a lot of exciting, exciting things if you stand to win. Um, 42 kilometer looks like quite a distance. Why did you leave the 0.2 out? What's 2.2? Uh, you, but if you can do 42, you should be able to do the 0.2. Can you do one? <laughs> oh, I try. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> there's a bar camp Tamale 2024. It's also coming off yeah. at the Nat Hall uh, yeah. today at nine, from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Um, in Tamale. So if you're there, you can go there. Culture, finance, quality. All about learning, sharing, networking, and mentoring. I like networking. Yeah, networking. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> incredible stuff. The bar camp guys are doing amazing, right? So yeah. Aboko, I call him Aboko, right? He's like the director, he's the convener for bar camp. I mean, there are so many people who benefited from their the work they've done in the space, youth mentorship, youth training, exposure, helping people do things they didn't even believe they could do, right? Mm -hmm. And their, their testimony is out there. So uh, yeah, if you are in and around Tamale, I know Tamale is busy this weekend, right? Because the NDC has taken the Ichido say NDC afa afa Tamale no num no no. If you if you go to the Church of Pentecost, it's a very common word you hear. Oh really? Of, hey, is it, hey, I family, understand family, even family. buses to 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 move around like at VIP difficult to come by. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's yeah, a very so busy weekend in Tamale. Weekend, but so. it's from 9 a.m. to 3:30 p.m. If you're a young person, if you're interested in very in skills that would define your future from now onwards i think you want to be looking and taking advantage of it so the, the theme for this year's bar camp tamale 2024 is culture finance and quality right so yeah go learn some soft skills how you can build something in the finance sector mm. culture a lot of the time we, we fail to monetize the, the, the cultural aspects of our lives, right? So all of these things, I'm sure, will, will be taught at the bar camp event. I've been to one bar camp event at the University of Ghana. That was somewhere 2014. Right. It was an incredible experience. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd advise, I'd, I'd really encourage, I'd really encourage. Mm. All right. So if you like some music, King King Promise, he's performing at the Nungwa Homo and Peace concert today at 6 p.m. Um, you know, on the main, it says Nungwa Main Road in front of the Nungwa Secondary School. And he's doing this in collaboration with the Bobu Ulomo Shite. I hope I pronounced that well. And Nungwa Manche. Did I get that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you like music, if you want to dance, if you want somewhere to be this evening, not too far. Um, if you can't go to Tamale for the bar camp, then this is definitely the place to be. The... Mm. King Promise and Friends. I wonder what the lineup is looking at, like Nungwa Homowo and Peace Concert. Ooh, promises to be exciting. No, King Promise is the guy, Charlie C. Let's nobody. I love his no, shoes. I love everything about him. See, King Promise hasn't got a bad song. Go. And it's not even me saying it because he's on the show. Ah, I know. Him. No, see. <laughs> I, I no, like the way he sat up to talk no, about King Promise. King Promise is the deal. See, I'm not even joking, right? After Sarkodie, mm -hmm. 
I think he's on the same level as Stoneboy now. No, you did not just say that. I'm telling you, Eno. See, do you, like, have you seen the numbers Terminator made? And, I, and this is not even me who is, like, I, out I, there I, I'm entertainment. I'm not even joking. Like, Terminator was a global hit. It was a global hit. Kim Promise is the future. That's the point I'm making. If he's the future, I understand. He, and the but... future is now. The thing they say about Charlie, future, no, no. The future is now. And he's the guy. I'm not even kidding. Like, see, from... <laughs> From CCTV mm -hmm. to Selfish to the one he started with. Oh, so I don't want me. Oh, the song that he. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Can promise is that guy. Oh, but for me, see, it's the Terminator song. The Terminator was big. He, he made like <laughs> dancing to a song, like yeah. a, a particular choreograph. To, but that's He's the that guy. That's the, you know, the various dance dances Lord. on TikTok. So, dance yeah, so Lord you credit, them, you you credit know. him with that because he brought mm. Dance Lloyd on from what I know and I've come to see within the space. But I think he's the guy. Kim Promise doesn't have a bad song. No, he's doing amazing. He, the he's only issue is that amazing. the only thing where they get him sometimes is his, his own life stage. Performance. His own stage. His, I was just about but to even mention. that one, even that one. Mm. Uh, he needs to are, work on it. We need to, uh, if, if we are the future, or if he is the yeah, future. Yeah, but you are not, you can't be 100%. You to, uh, oh, oh, you, 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 can, you can't be 100%. Oh, come on. See, Kim Promise. Oh, come Charlie, they, they, have, they have a name to call him. He needs to work on his live performance. They call him Gregory. He needs to work on his live performance, and then he'll be, he'll be be amazing he'll be amazing Gregory he'll is the future amazing. the future is now so happy for him and if you're in Nunguaya in Teshi it's environs the place to be tonight is the Nungua main road because the man himself the king himself will be performing with his sakura head anyway <laughs> you know, we are getting news of some accident happening right now causing an unbearable traffic situation at the Bri. wow wow the pictures I'm seeing here is, is, is shocking. So there's a track that has its good car its um, goods it that is carrying. Looks as if it's carrying cement. Yeah, I think it's yes, I think it's cement. Yeah, and so it's, the um, long trailer the, yes, truck. Yes, so um, it's turned and it's it's causing an unbearable traffic situation. Um, I know city authorities, law enforcement is watching. We want to plead with you to get to a B right now and try and bring some sanity to the situation right now. Of course, um, listeners and viewers are sending us pictures of how the situation is creating an unbearable um, experience for them on the stretch. So we are pleading with law enforcement, city authorities, police. Um, they've been doing a pretty good job recently, so I'm sure they are watching and will move and will move to it. So this is the stretch leading to Pediasi from yeah. Accra. And yeah. um, we understand that some a huge trailer truck carrying goods has overturned. Quite a very, very, um, quite a so, very, yeah, very, very bizarre sad. scene, um, yeah. I think they'll have to, they'll have to find alternative routes to Ebri, or um, if you're using that route today. And you know, like for the vehicles behind, it could have been very, very, like it almost just crashed the vehicle right behind it these are pictures we are seeing so we don't even have the full scale of it but like it looks very serious right and if it's not cleared immediately you can just imagine the traffic that will build up on the stretch so we are pleading with law enforcement please help get this mess or uh, this situation addressed immediately or then it's, it's going to really be a different story uh, um, pretty soon so you know yeah I don't know if there's more happening in town. Yeah, so you know, um, if you're a young and upcoming film mm. enthusiast or you want to be a director, mm. etc., etc. Oh, we are not talking about King Promise. Yes, we're done talking about King Promise. Uh, we're talking about uh, the indie <laughs> festival, <laughs> Accra Indie Annual Festival, and it's happening <laughs> from the 29th of July oh. to the 3rd of August, mm. 2024. Mm, and mm. a bit about that story or the indie festival is that it's a non-for-profit film festival for young filmmakers all around the world and um, it has no sponsorship but it's been organized success successfully for you know various times it's done independent and alternative films in philippines like all over the world mm. all over mm. the world mm. so mm. the theme mm. for this year is africa to the world the world to Africa. I love it. Yeah, so Africa 29th to July to 3rd August. Yeah. I'll try and pass by and see thing. for myself some of the stuff happening there. You see, 
<laughs> we will try. We will pass by. Not that try. We will go and there so, and see so what. So the creative the in, space, yeah, right? The, the creative innovation space. that people are the creative space into their films. has over the years come to be known as the orange economy. So you have camera guys, you have directors, you have you have producers, you have script writers, you have curators. Sound. The orange economy sound, right? So collectively, they call them the orange economy. It's the future. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I, 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 we can't even overstate this enough because the point is that look at all the new movies that are coming out. The budgets are twenty million dollars. Hey, hey. Which 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 business, how many business have their turnover even reaching a million dollar or two million dollars? But people are shooting movies, shooting productions. I was watching the recent Netflix documentary on David Beckham. Right. And I look at the budget and I'm like, imagine you are the lead producer on this. He are smiling their way to the bank. So the orange economy is the future, right? Or is the future now? And I mean, events like this helping on earthing talent, giving people a voice, giving people the opportunity to express um, their talent, their, their, what's inside of them. And I think if you are interested in film, you're interested in production, you definitely want to take a look at this yeah, and take advantage of it. it's also a good place to network and mm. meet people exactly. who are in that exactly. particular industry that you're interested in. So, yeah, if you have the time, pass through the Accra Indie Film Fest, 29th to 3rd August 2024. It promises to be interesting, enlightening, and fun. But, hey, so we've given you a wrap of things happening um, this weekend. So if you find yourself or you find a little bit of time do make sure that you go to any of these and enjoy.